it's the starting of a revolution for Māori. And the more you try and put us in a struggle, the more we'll get up and fight, brother. Look me in the eye, I'll look you in the eye and just tell me if that's what you want for our people. <laughs> what if I were to go to Belgium, Holland, and force you to take on my culture, take on my language? There are people in control, but you have to learn that yourself, who these people are. What do you think will happen on Tuesday at Waitangi Day? Throw shit at Prime Ministers or <laughs> dildos. We were heading to investigate the Māori King's National Hui in Ngārawa here. It had been called in response to new policies by the New Zealand government led by Winston Peters, David Seymour and Prime Minister Chris Luxon. We will change all the woke virtue signalling names of every government department back to English. Parliament will start to debate what the principles of the treaty really mean. The main controversy is around the Treaty of Waitangi, New Zealand's founding document signed in 1840 by Māori chiefs and the British Crown. The Treaty of Waitangi is sacrosanct. We want the opportunity to be walking side by side. That's pretty close. Who are you? Do you know who I am? Tommy Hitsi? Okay, I am that fine. What is the new government doing? <laughs> what they shouldn't be doing. <laughs> yeah, this is the starting of a revolution for Māori. And the more you try and put us in a struggle, the more we'll get up and fight, brother. What would you say to Christopher Luxon if he was here today? Go to Australia. I would swear, but no, no swearing on the channel, bro. The last time I heard that fella on TV he could feed a family for $60. He needs to maybe have a, another sleep, another moi, and just rethink about it. Bro, I feel sorry for you because you're just a prospect. Look me in the eye, I'll look you in the eye and just tell me if that's what you want for our people, then we'll give you the same, you know, language which you want back, my bro. Their policy undermines the TV. You know, they just need to wake up to that and uh, get over it. If we take that away from them, then Maori people will have nothing. Well, the only ones that can do anything with it are the Uri, or the heirs and successors of those two people who signed it. Because it's one race dominating another and taking all that that race had to have in the first place, taking my everything from me. We just go for our um, room at the moment on our scooters. We bring these to like, um, cut through all the traffic. The mob's speeding when you know how to talk Maori. No, no one no. else knows what you're saying. Yeah, no one <laughs> Maori. The, the language itself was almost um, extinct. There was only a few that knew it. Our grandparents um, were, were beaten for speaking the language. Now at school they were told that the white man's way was the way to go. What are you holding there? This one belonged to uh, Te Whakaawi. Yeah. And this one was Pōtato Te Whirofiros. Yeah, pretty lucky. Yeah, tēnā wai mari au ki te pupuri ene. Our friend is taking us over to his teacher. He said he's got some good stories. All right then. Uh, kona hoki ki aho. What do you think people don't understand about your people? They just don't care. You know, you've got to remember that Pākehā, they come from a different uh, perspective, a different lifestyle. So, you know, they're only believing what they believe, and that's not their fault either. It doesn't matter if you're connected to England, if you can connect to China or connect it. Be yourself. we just got to be respectful of each other. The hui ended, but tension between Māori and the government kept rising. One day a tiny fire went swimming in the moana. Not blaming everybody else. You see that? I love debate. Come to Waitangi. I will see you there. Tēnā koutou katoa. It was Waitangi weekend, so we headed to Takapuna Beach to see what the government supporters were saying. What are you up to this afternoon? Uh, we've been out fishing this morning, so we've just come back in. I just got married today. Wife's family who came over from Korea. Do you have any opinions on Waitangi? Yeah, I think it's all a bit over the top lost the plot as far as uh, the way things are going in the country. I'm not too sure, not too educated on that to be honest. I wish I knew more about it. Go to a marae or be welcomed by one of the local marais. Mm -hmm. Well Tangy Day is really about reflecting yourself I think isn't it? Marae is included as to what they're doing it's and what they're doing. It's yes, a New Zealand day. Do you think your opinion is not common around here? I suspect not. <laughs> Do you think we need to get rid of the treaty or rewrite the treaty? Uh, I don't think rewrite, but get rid of it. 
total, only creating more deficient. We would be better to rewrite things and start again. How would you rewrite it? To give everyone e equality. Do you think the effects of colonisation still affect Māori today? My honest opinion, the Māori would be extinct if the Europeans did not come out when they did. They'd run out of the uh, moa. We don't see people with colour, we just see a person as a person. We just judge everybody as who they are, not mm. what colour their skin is. Yeah. So it's... What do you think will happen on Tuesday at Waitangi Day? Throw shit at Prime Ministers or <laughs> dildos. Do you think they shouldn't be protesting? No. No, it should be, like I said, it should be New Zealand Day. Everyone should celebrate it as New Zealand Day. We're getting closer to Waitangi. Why are you here today? Call our people and find out who we are. We are a lot that don't know, don't know how our roots are and stuff here, you know. What is Waitangi Day to you? I don't know, shoving it to the crown, I suppose. Do you think there is disrespect going on? Um, I think that's an understatement, my bro. I don't really know because I don't really watch that, eh? But just what I hear, mm, Māori ora all the way. <laughs> yeah, Māori ora. What's your staff that you're holding? This here, his name's Tamanui Tira. He started shaking out of nowhere. And I thought there was a manu or um, karrehe in there, or animal. But um, it turns out that it was just him shaking his, his head. Yeah. the haka you were just doing? Uh, tohi a mai, and it's uh, bringing in the waka, bringing in our people. Tohi a mai, i te waka, ki te runga, te waka. What kind of future do you want for your son? A future where he is able to be expressive about being Māori, about being Pākehā. We've lost all of our land, we earned 100% of Aotearoa, New Zealand. What is there your... are people in control, but you have to learn that yourself, who these people are. He's the man. We're the tangata. What were you going to say about Winston Peters? Oh, it's a whole lot of kaka, man. You met the Prime Minister? Yeah, he was here today. He was here the other day, too. What do you think of him? I'm just no comment. Can you tell me about your... Why is it on a fishing pole here? The reason why it's on a fishing rod is because this has got something to do with the, um, our survival. We kind of brought all our tools with us. What are you working on here? Uh, just a painting in plain air. And it's just a separation of the, the crowd looking at the priest at the marae. What is it like growing up in Aotearoa? Oh, it's good bro. Kia ora, who are you? Kia ora. Oh, I'm Rory, Rory Hemi. What do you stand for? I stand for Māori. I stand for our people, our whanau. How have Māori struggled in Aotearoa? Oh, don't you know? <laughs> In every facet of life. As a fair Māori, I hear racism every day of the year. People say things in front of me they would never say in front of uh, brown-faced people. Just um, not treated how you treat your dog, if you know what I mean. If you had a dog, you'd look after your dog, you'd feed it, you'd care for it, you'd look after it, you'd shelter it. And not being recognised is even a real kick in the belly, that we are tangata whenua. This was, or still is, our land. What's happening just over here? Well, they're getting ready for the, the 21 gun salute. There's a ship out there ready for the 21 gun salute.
have sunny weather and you see all these sailboats out there. New Zealand, Apeara! <laughs> How has being Māori changed over your lifetime in Aotearoa? Losing my deal. Losing my language by going into schools. Just being English, really. I used to think Māori, what the F is that going to do for me? You know, but then once I started touching back to my whakapapa and my roots, I, you know, I was, I was lost as of now. I'm, I know who I am, I know where I come from, and I know where I'm heading. It's the grandmother's flags. They're sitting here, look how beautiful they are. I'm part of the grandmothers of Waitaha. We're here for our whenua, for our tamariki mokopuna, who's going to be the next generation coming, that they don't forget what we are standing for. We are just sitting and waiting and just listening. What are you waiting for? Waiting for the results that what may become for our people. We've seen some people doing manus over the wharf, so we're going to go see what's happening. We're doing manus, pretty big ones, you know? <laughs> Do you want to show us some money? Oh. <laughs> oh, I know, I can do it. You do it. Come on, Mario, you got this. Let's go. There we go. How was that out of 10? 10 out of 10. Beautiful. Who's the best here? Yeah, yeah. me, me, here. Yeah. Do you want to show us your money? Yeah. Hurry up, hurry up, watch out. Oh, can I watch it? How was that? Fucking he, huge. How was your money? How big? Ready? Yo. I get wet. So all in the form. Bring your knees in and pray for the best. Here we the go. left nut to the right nut. I don't know. Don't trust the guy in the middle. He's a dick. Oh, just too amateur. Oh, get it. He's just too amateur. Oh, right, bro. Oh, right, Can you show us a bomb? Me. Let's go, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah,